And yet we had people who said, Brian Kelly shouldn't be LSU's head coach. we got to get rid of Brian Kelly. We should have hired this office. You look so stupid. You look stupid before this game. You look even worse after this game. Because it's just a it's just a dumb take. It's just a dumb take. You know, it just it shows how little you know about football. I don't care if you picked LSU to lose this game. I'm not saying that. I'm saying to to really to say that Brian Kelly is is a coach that's never going to win at LSU, never going to be successful at LSU, and that every little last thing he's done here to this point has been a disaster and yada yada yada. You're you're out of your depth. You're out of your league. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you better just shut up on the sidelines and just and just watch. Let the big boys talk, okay? Because Brian Kelly just proved tonight, if there's any more doubters in the room, their minds have been changed. And there should be, now be total buy-in that Brian Kelly is a legitimate SEC head coach who can legitimately win in the SEC. When you win at Jordan Hare and at the Swamp with the team he has, the new staff that he has, the depth that he has, the amount of scholarship players that he has, the mess he had to clean up from Coach Ed Orgeron, when you take all that into, into, into consideration, He's dealt with all of that, and this is the result. You know LSU would just aren't, aren't just going in the, in the right direction. LSU could be immediately dangerous. Immediately dangerous, especially if you see what just happened to Alabama today. Alabama didn't just lose, y'all. Bryce Young got beat up. He got jacked up from first quarter to last by Tennessee. Whether he's officially injured or not, those hits have a residual effect. LSU could really upset some people this season, really ruin some seasons. And that might be the most satisfying uh, 2022 we could have here. <laughs> Real, really, really just getting revenge against Florida, against Auburn. You know, Brian Kelly, Mississippi State now, he's really checking the boxes of kill your enemies right now as a first-year LSU head coach. I just, I love it. AD says, give them big dogs up front some love, too. Of course. I mean, this this is uh, the return of Will Campbell. I mean, finally just, just not having to worry about left tackle again. I know he, he whiffed on his first play back, almost allowed a sack. You saw the brilliance of Jaden Daniels to get away from that. But this offensive line were like absolute beasts tonight. Man, Anthony Bradford had the best game he's ever had as an LSU Tiger. Outside of a few really dumb penalties, um, I think a few of which were actually on special teams, but this, this offensive line were absolutely savage tonight. 179 on the ground. They supplied Jaden Daniels with a clean pocket for most of the night. Uh, great point, AD. Um, they gave him time constantly. Jaden Daniels could go through his proje- through his uh, pr- progressions because he actually had the time for once. And you saw that on one of the biggest plays of the game where he's looking clear to his left, goes all the way through his progressions back to the right, and then corks one. And he had probably like four more seconds after he threw the ball that he could have kept, continued to hold on to it. I mean, I just, I love what we saw from Jaden Daniels tonight. And I, I feel like Jaden Daniels could have done this every game of the season had he been able to see the field clearly. Had had there been 
you know, more familiarity between him and the receiving core. If LSU's offensive line hadn't been so injury injury prone, inept in places, um, just not figuring it out. If LSU hadn't made so many, you know, mismanagement of the game, so many mistakes and errors in the management of games, all of these com- you know, combine, the receiver is making some timely, timely drops, all of these combine to what we saw for LSU's offense over the first six games of the year. Now what we're starting to see is it come together. One by one, they they seem to really clean those errors up tonight. And as you as you said, a diesel, it really does start up front. Um, the defensive line was really good for LSU tonight in supplying some pressures. Only one sack though, but LSU's offensive line supplied Jane Downs with constant protection. So we we did it in the trenches tonight. We did it in the trenches tonight. We ran the ball well. 179 on the ground. Finally get a 100-yard rusher. I just I, I'm so excited for the for the potential of this team because sure, sure, sure. Not the finished star article yet. You know. Still some mistakes. On that Damian, Damian Ramos kick, we had two false starts consecutively on fourth down that completely just ruined any chance of a play there on fourth and two, made us go clear back to kick a field goal, which I feel like we should have done on the fourth and two. Anyway, Damian Ramos shows that you can have confidence in him and nails um, you know, an absolute corker straight down the middle, um, absolutely buries that thing after two ridiculous penalties, and he's sitting there on the sideline thinking, God, they're backing me up even more, and they're trying to go for it. Now they're just going to have to say, well, we got backed up, so now you have to kick it. Damn, you put me in a weird spot. Okay, I'm going to now just nail this thing to end this thing. Like how how clutch from Damian Ramos after the you know the blocks that have ha- he's suffered from, uh, some of the, the starts of the season, people blaming the, the Florida State loss on him, which is ridiculous. Um, what a huge breakout kick for Damian Ramos. What a moment for him. And uh, just absolutely nailed that thing. We have a better record than at Florida State right now, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's funny how people can overreact and think that the season is going to be one way because of a first game or a second game or a third game. It's always a long season, people, and there's always a tale of two halves. There's always a tale of two teams. Um, different sections of the schedule give teams different you know, levels of trouble. And there were some... Some teams that were problematic for LSU for some strange reasons. And there were some times LSU just straight up shot themselves in the foot. Tonight was not one of those times. 